Hey there. So we're back again with another video and today we'll learn about LDAP and Active Directory. This is Jitin from Software Circle and we advocate free e-learning. This is totally non-profit, non-commercial work that we are doing. So let's learn LDAP and Active Directory today. So in the agenda, we have what is LDAP, what is Active Directory, LDAP versus Active Directory, LDAP and Active Directory workflow. We'll learn what is LDAP authentication. We'll also see LDAP query and LDAP and Active Directory importance. What is LDAP? LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. It is an open and cross-platform protocol used for directory services authentication. LDAP provides the communication language that application used to communicate with other directory services and servers. Directory services store the user password and computer accounts and share their information with other entities on the network. Now, what is Active Directory? Active Directory is a directory service implemented implementation that provides all sorts of functionality like authentication, group and user management, and policy administrator and more. Active Directory supports both Kerberos and Alder Microsoft. Microsoft Active Directory is by far the most common Active Directory service system in the use in use today. Active Directory provides single sign-on and works well in the office and a world VPN. Active Directory and Kerberos are not cross-platform, which is one of the reasons companies are implementing access management software to manage logins from many different devices and platforms in a single place. Active Directory does not support LDAP. Active Directory does support LDAP, which means it can still be part of your overall access management scheme. Active Directory is just one example of a directory service that supports LDAP. There are other flavors tools, which is such as Red Hat Directory Service, Open LDAP, and Apache Directory ser Servers. Now, LDAP versus Active Directory. LDAP is a way of speaking to Active Directory. LDAP is a protocol that many different directory service and access management solutions can understand. The relationship between Active Directory and LDAP is much like the relationship between Apache and HTTP. HTTP is a web protocol. Apache is a web server that uses the HTTP protocol. LDAP is a directory service protocol and Active Directory is is a directory server that uses the LDAP protocol. Occasionally, you will hear someone say, we don't have an active directory, but we do have LDAP. What they probably mean is that they have another product set, such as Open LDAP, which is an LDAP server. It is kind of, of like someone saying we have HTTP, when they really mean we have Apache web server. LDAP is a protocol and Active Directory is a server. LDAP authenticates Active Directory. It is a set of guidelines to send and receive information like username and password to Active Directory. What is LDAP authentication for Active Directory? Applications requiring Active Directory credentials. Credentials sent to API Gateway and with the help of Active Directory, it gets authenticated. And to API Gateway, only authorized request go to Active Directory. Now, at the layer of API Gateway, like LDAP is an application protocol for working with various directory services. It works at the API Gateway layer. If you have any confusion, do pause the video and look to the diagram again. And if you have any more questions, you can write in the comment box. What is LDAP authentication? There are two options for LDAP authentication in LDAP v3, simple and SASL, simple authentication and security layer. Simple authentication allows for three possible authentication mechanisms, which is an owner's authentication, unauthenticated authentication and name and password authentication. LDAP authentication is anonymous authentication which grants client anonymous status to LDAP. 
unauthenticated authentication for logging purpose only should not grant access to a client and name and password authentication grant access to the server based on the credentials supplied simple user pass authentication is not secure and is not suitable for authentication without confidentiality protection what is an ldap query look like uh, so you can see on the screen an ldap query is command that ask a directory service for some information for instance if you would like to see which group a particular user is part of you would submit a queries which is something like in the object class it will be user and the account name will be your, your name and then the which group and users you belong to why are ldap and active directory important so these are important for managed service provider it might be obvious that why ldap and active active directory so important but if you are new to this place here is why you think you need you need to think carefully about how to use them effectively active directory is part of security layer for your it system and ldap is a core part of your active directory work this means both pieces are critical for keeping your it environment secure active directory is part of your system designed to provide a directory service for user management it helps you manage and control all the devices on your network including computers printers services and mobile devices and the users who engage with it, with the device you can assign privilege to each users to a group of users to allow them access to the objects or devices or information contained in the active directory active directory authentication is important because access to information in the directory can make it can make or break a system security and directory services are essentially a phone book for everything your organization hold in terms of information and devices the directory servers and servers ldap and serve serve ldap integration are critical result of this service functioning appropriately and securely with ldap users can access the information they need in active directory to do their jobs effectively to configure ldap correctly you need to understand what authentication process you need how users will be searching the system and where your security information need lies so that's the small video on ldap and active directory if you didn't understand any concept repeat you can watch the video again or write in the comment box we'll try to answer you all the queries and if you find the video helpful do like and the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much